Manchester City 5, Wolverhampton Wanderers 1. One minute, just put the pound down. No, it weren't a pound, it was actually 20p, I think. Um, great win. I was nervous going into this game because I was worried that we'd struggle to break walls down. But we got the goals early. Um, penalty by Haaland. People, I've seen people saying that it wasn't a penalty. Like on Sky and that with Jamie Carragher. And I'd actually pay extra money if it meant that um, you could have the commentary on. But there was an option not to listen to Jamie Carragher. Because he talks absolute nonsense every time he's on Sky. And he's one of the main reasons why I really don't like Liverpool. Because he talks crap. He thinks he knows it all when he really doesn't. That was a stonewall penalty. Nori, it might have been harsh because it didn't look like it was deliberate. But he got none of the ball. And if he didn't touch Gavardio, then Gavardio maybe might have got better contact and had a better chance of scoring. So that's why it was a stonewall penalty. Um, great header from Haaland. And about um, not being able to score headers, this one's for you, Nigel Bennett, son. He can score bloody headers. And that was a beautiful header. Look at how far he got himself in the air. That was um, glimpses of Ronaldo. With that, um, how high he was in the air. And he's on my wall there, just behind me. And um, got new stickers as well. I'll show them to you. Jack Grealish. Um... Harland shirt with number nine on the back. Um, city, city. Is that that's how you can see it? can you see it? Well, you're gonna see it back to front either way, but it says city, city on it. Um, Kevin De Bruyne. Manchester. The pride of Manchester. Have that some some of the United fans watching this video. Um, Haaland from his um, first goals against uh, West Ham away. With the yoga pose. Um, Sergio Aguero. And David Silva. Wait, and there's more as well. Grealish. And I think there might be one more as well. Foden. Didn't see this one yet. But his um, celebration against um, Liverpool where we beat him 4-1. Is there any more? No, that's it. But I'm going to be sticking them on my wall. Um, soon. So. If you want me to do a specific video where I stick them on my wall. Then yeah, I will do that. But Harlan, brilliant today. I thought De Bruyne and Foden played really well today as well. Um, and Alvarez, he's been getting a lot of criticism lately. But when he came on, he did well. He pressed well. And um, he slotted home his goal nicely into the bottom corner. And if you're watching this Pep, yeah, he won't be. Definitely not. But he's got to play as a striker, Alvarez, or on the wing. Just don't play him in midfield because that wastes his talent there. Um, the only disappointment for me is that the goal that we gave away was sloppy. Good individually from um, Kwan, or, or I don't know how you say it, but... Um, good individually from him, but I feel like Ake and Gavardio let the cross come in too easily. And I think it was Walker... And maybe Aki that could have maybe made more of an effort to block the shot. And I don't think Kovacic had his best game today either. I still think we could do with some reinforcements in that middle of the park. Or the middle of the pitch, whatever you want to call it. Because I think Kovacic, he's decent. 
at like passing and stuff like that for like passing the ball sideways and um, backwards. But for actually in the final third, that's where I feel like we could do with someone better. Like uh, Musiala, like uh, Lucas Paqueta, like a um, Joshua Kimmich. Because he's a good player, Kovacic, but in the final third, some of the time he could be better. Although, as the season's progressed, he has got a bit better in the final third. I thought Gavardio was good today as well. And um, a lot of people were saying that he was a flop like a couple of months back. But in this second half of the season, he's been really good, I think. And um, I'd actually like to see us give him a go at centre-back and actually maybe try and go and get a, um actual natural left-back because I don't get why we have to always um play players out of position because he was bought as a centre-back, but ever since he's been at City, he's played as a, as a left-back when he should be played as a centre-back. Um, but I think... I If I was City, I'd personally buy a left-back and play him as a centre-back, Gavardio. F- um, Foden, he didn't score today, but some of the crosses and some of the passes and some of the turns that he was doing today with world-class Foden, he's got to get the player of the season, for sure. And in my personal opinion, he's got to be up there with one of the candidates for the Ballon d'Or. If it was down to me... It would go to him, but based on this season anyway. But if we have gone like further in the Champions League, I think he might have had a really good chance of getting it. But because we're out of the Champions League and Real Madrid's still in it, I've got a good feeling that it's going to... No, not a good feeling, but a funny feeling that it's going to go to Bellingham. But even though I don't personally think it should go to Bellingham. Great season, Bellingham, don't get me wrong. But I feel like some of the time when the big moments have been like played, he hasn't done as much as Phil Foden. Maybe some people will disagree with that, but that's just my personal take. Um, I think we need to give um, John Stones and Ruben Diaz more game time because it feels like this season especially none of those two have been playing near enough as they should do because there are two best centre backs at the club and half the time they're not even starting and they're on the bench which shouldn't be the case because I feel like if they play then um unless like teams like have like loads of quality then they're not going to score against us if we play Stones and Diaz together as a centre back partnership. Because in the twenty one, in the twenty twenty one season where we won the league and the Carabao Cup, that was one of the best centre backs partnerships in um recent Premier League history. And um, no one could really score against us that season that many times. And I think in terms of our defence. That's probably the best our defence has ever been in that 2021 season with um, Stones and Diaz at the heart of our back line. And um, I don't get why we haven't played Stones and Diaz next to each other that many times since that season. Um, But fantastic win. I was nervous going into the game. I did predict a win, but I didn't expect it to be as comfortable. It's good that we got the five goals because Arsenal scored three goals earlier against Bournemouth. So it's good that we closed the gap a bit on the goal difference. Um, Because I think... I expect us to drop points between now and the end of the season. And I expect Arsenal to as well. So I've got a funny feeling that it might come down to goal difference. So we've just got to make sure um, in um, games... From now to the end of the season, we try and score as many goals as possible because if it comes down to goal difference, it's it's going to be tough for us to win it because Arsenal have been scoring three, four, five, six goals in a lot of games this season compared to us where we've only been doing it some of the time against like the likes of Fulham, Luton and against Wolves today. And we got four against Aston Villa as well. But there has been like a few games where against like the likes of Sheffield United and Burnley, where I feel like 
where we won the games, I think it was 3-1 against Burnley and 2-0 against Sheffield United, where I think we could have pushed to get a bit more goals in that game um, because um, that was our like main chance of um, getting like a 6-0 win or a 7-0 win or something like that. Um, but obviously, Haaland man in the match today, but I do think De Bruyne was good today and also Foden and Gavardio as well. I just think that we need like a bit of a reinforcement in the midfield because that's the only thing that I think's lacking at points in our midfield because Foden and De Bruyne are our only real creative spark and Rodri, but like after that, in terms of the midfield, our creativity could be a bit better because I think Alvarez isn't an actual midfielder Bernardo Silva's been playing on the wing quite a bit this season. So, I think we, we, the main thing is, I think we do need midfielders in the summer. I don't know who it will be, but we need, like, a bit of, like, more quality in the midfield in that central area. And um, we also need to get a backup for Rodri. And I think, I'd, I don't want Walker to be our main right-back um, next season. I want us to get Fringpong or to give Yang Kuta a chance, because he's done like better in the second half of the season, but overall this season, Walker hasn't been good enough for large parts of the season, and has been costly in terms of mistakes this um, season, compared to like previous years, so if I had the choice, I wouldn't have him as our first choice right back next season, never mind the captain. The captain should be Diaz, and then um, after that, the pecking order should be um, probably Rodri as the vice, and then after that, I'd like I'd be looking at like the likes of Stones, and um, maybe Foden. Um, but great win. Um, some of the football you're playing today was really good. But I just think I don't get why um, towards the end when we get to like. A big margin of like a head, um, Pep takes loads of players off, and like makes the team a bit weaker. I don't get why he does that. He shouldn't really do that, especially not in this type of game where we're trying to get as many goals as possible to close down on Arsenal's goal difference. Um, I'm not in my pants today like I was for the Nottingham Forest game, because I was playing football today, so. If you wanted to see my pants, I'm sorry you're disappointed today because I'm not in my pants. Um, or my boxes or whatever you want to call it. Because um, I was playing football today. I think I scored like seven goals in the end. Um, across the two games that we played. And I got quite a few assists as well. And I did decent in goal as well. I made quite a few saves. I did concede a few, but um, they were pretty good goals to be fair. Um, and I should be maybe playing with the guys that I was playing with today um, more often on Saturdays now. It's not a club, it's just like um, where we like go and play football and there's a bit of gardening involved as well. I'm not the best gardener, but I try my best. Um, and um, about me playing football, yeah... If Pep, if you're watching this, sign me up. I'm only joking. Because um, even though I'm a good passer, I don't think um, I can run around as much as um, Pep would want me to. But it is what it is. Not many people can do that. Um, but anyway, three games to go. Two for Arsenal, three for us. We've got Fulham, Spurs and West Ham. Nine points. And we're Premier League champions again for the fourth time in a row. No one's ever done that. And um, we have a lot of people that will write in us off this season in terms of the title. And um, we have a lot of people saying that we're not going to win anything. And we're still on for the double, which would be the FA Cup and the Premier League. I'd, I'd be fairly happy with that and um, buzzing with that. Especially after a treble winning season because... Not many teams, after winning the treble, do well the next season. Especially not in this country, anyway. Um, but thank you for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe. Um, we are... Um, how many subscribers away from 360 now, I think?
the last time I checked it was four subscribers away. So um, if we can get to 360, that's the mark I really want to achieve. So if you are not a subscriber yet, make sure to subscribe and also share the video around and um, make sure if there's any girls out there um, from Manchester being a City fan, hook me up. Come on the City. City, City, City. Come on, the boys. Big three points. Um, on to the next one.